Hey my little peacheroonies, Pe peacheroonies, and welcome back to a brand new video. It's Monday, so I was like, why don't we do ourselves a little cast Monday, and I have got a spicy cast Monday for you guys today, because we're going to be doing the old characters versus my new CC, if you guys didn't realise. I started recording Sims several years ago, my CC was kind of limited, I've always been a, like a CC fangirl. CC has always been bae, I've never really liked Max as much CC, Alpha has always been where we are, but I just didn't have much of it before, and now I have literally me so much that I th dogs are wild in <laughs> Dogs are wild and hard. Dogs are wild in so much, but like, please try and ignore them. They're just being a noisy. Evie's staring at me like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, now I have so much CC, I think I'm gonna have to buy a new CC, uh, new CC, <laughs> a new PC, because mine is slowing down so, so much from all the CC. But we got a particularly spicy one today, because check out this character selection. We got the OG Queen Selma. We got Ali's favorite Sim, Jessie. We got James, my eldest, my firstborn, my heir. That's actually a lie. If I had children, I'd split it up between all of them. Them, but I never actually plan on having four ever in real life. I just happen to do it on Sims. And then we got Jesse's wife, Aruni, Roxy as well. So four pretty amazing Sims. It's four characters that honestly are all great. They are just all definitely suffering from Claire not really having a great deal of CC at the time. So I'm gonna flex my fingers, get a little stretch, because I love, I love what we did last time. I love my updated marks. I love my updated Abel and Emma and Lilith and Emily and Taylor. Like all of them look so, so much better. So I'm gonna concentrate on just these four today because they all live together at one point. And let's do it guys, let's do the old characters new CC challenge. So I've doubled up just so we can do a little compare and contrast and I guess we're starting with Selma because she is right there. When I actually first imported her from her old design, literally she looked like that. It was like bizarre because we've always known her as being quite a curvy queen. So I just curved her back out again. My menu, I don't think she was quite as curvy as that, maybe here. She always had that amazing butt, but yeah she, she was actually really skinny when we first added her to the game. The other big thing that is different about Selma is she used to have very red eyes and then when I switched to more realistic CC, I kind of dropped her eyes a little bit, but I don't know. I feel like her eye color is very much a part of her. I kind of feel a little bit sad that we don't have a red eye that matches the kind of style of eyes I go for at the moment. So I may have a nosy and see if we've got some like, cause I have a lot of eyes now. Back when I used to play this, I had literally no eyes at all, but I figured if we could find some really cool red eyes then I don't really know why she's got red eyes if I'm being honest. It's probably a little bit strange but it's also kind of canon now so like you know I can't just be like oh she doesn't have red eyes anymore. It's kind of like she was the OG vampire and we just didn't really even know it at the time. I think I'm gonna go for these because to me they still look pretty realistic. They still kind of match the style but they just look pretty cool. I honestly feel like she's gonna be very very hard to improve on because she's kind of amazing just the way she is but I'm gonna try. Why don't I just remove everything off her uh, including her hair and just like build her up from scratch again because actually her CC was doing her some favors. She is of course beautiful but this is definitely an old eyebrow style. Ooh, I'm liking those brows on her. Let's take all her makeup off as well. Oh wow. So she was actually more monolidded this whole time or at least like a heavier this bit above her lid and now I would always do CC that kind of accentuates that but back then I would just like throw on. I didn't have as much choice. I just throw on any old CC so we kind of didn't really have many monolidded characters because just because I didn't have any CC that actually had a monolid option. Now that I do, I kind of feel like we should definitely use one of them. Oh, wow. That one is amazing, but again, it's losing the eyelids. Straight away, she, oh my gosh, she freaking sings with that CC. I wish you had mono a monolid option. Like, it's so nice, but like, that kind of works, but no, we, we need to stay true to Selma. It's kind of mind blown to me that this whole time she wasn't actually accurately represented. I, how? It's because, look, so much CC just naturally just puts in a top eyelid. I know I moan about this all the time, and you guys are probably so bored of hearing it. Like, yes, Claire, we get it. Okay. There's not enough monolid representation when it comes to CC. I feel strongly about this, okay? I'm actually kind of low key shocked at how different she looks. Like, I can tell already some of you guys are going to actually hate this. I feel like some people are really going to hate her. I'm sorry. I know she's iconic, but I've got to make changes. I don't know. Let's let's keep like chuckling on and see what we end up with. I think she looks more like a heritage, which is good because before I just slapped the same CC on everyone regardless of their heritage. I think hers is meant to be, is it Egyptian? I feel like potentially Egyptian. And then she obviously had beautiful red hair. I don't have a lot of red hairs to pick from back then though. But now, now I have so many more. She had that hair for a bit. I literally remember when she had this hair. <laughs> 
she's definitely fierce looking. Like, you can't deny that. I think she looks a lot fiercer in this form than, like, her other form. Like, I don't know. I'm kind of already starting to like this one more. But I know not everyone is gonna. Let me just check out her cheeks one last time. Okay, and then outfits. Just anything that can... Okay, boobies. I, I was gonna say anything that shows off those curves. But I think maybe this does it to a little bit of an extreme. I'm not sure she would go that far. Ah, I need another Soma. I don't really download the kind of jeans that she had anymore. Like, I tend to... These are all really old. I tend to download jeans a bit more like like this kind of vibe now. So I don't think I have any jeans that like really match her very well. Although, <laughs> hello, I think a bit of a Gucci belt is definitely a very peak Selma vibes. This right here is very like on brand Selma. Why is this top so low? But how freaking cute does that look? Like, that looks real cute. I'm gonna settle for something in between though, because I actually think the other one is a little bit more Charlie, which, I don't know, she doesn't seem like I did it that long ago, but I could definitely probably do with reworking her as well. Just gonna pop some little jewelry on her. Oh my god, I just put a fringe on. Kinda like it. Oh gosh, you can do anything with this girl. You can do anything with her. No, I like her more without. I think I kind of done with it. She looks a little bit younger here, because where they are in their lives is these guys are like living together in the house. There's no babies on the scene yet. Although, maybe, maybe Charlie Rose was around at that point but i don't know it's a younger selma who's just like starting out her chef career doing pretty amazing i need to swap her shoes my highest heels yes girl in red of course and i also feel like she needs some nail polish because if anyone was gonna wear it it was gonna be her and i think we're done this is selma as i would have reimagined her with current cc the biggest change is her face like her face is very different but her actual eye this is the actually way more similar to how she really looked like that's her actual eye shape this is like much more closer to her features than the Salma that you guys saw. Like, I love this Salma, don't get me wrong, but I actually kind of feel like I prefer this version. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think in the comments below. I I keep like um and ahhing about the hair clips. I think no, I think without them a little bit sleeker. She's got hoop earrings, but you can't really see them. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll put some at face by face, side by sides at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around till that. Okay, next up, we got Jesse. Jesse is so tiny. Like, I literally feel like with so many of my characters i just want to pull them up a little bit because some of them were so small that it actually kind of freaks me out uh jesse who's my first daughter in game beautiful beautiful jesse i'm gonna just take everything off you jesse bobs and i distinctly remember you having hazel eyes so a little bit more like this and i don't know what's good is something is like drawing across her face that i don't know what that is i'm gonna take off everything just see if Anything is interfering. Okay, yeah, her eyes are a little bit clearer now. Okay, so I like that you got a chunky eyebrow girl, but we we don't do our eyebrows like that anymore. We've definitely switched up the way we do eyebrows a little bit. We don't do them like that either, don't worry. <laughs> or like that, jeez. I'm saying that and I'm coming up with actually nothing. I don't know. I'm, oh, she's got quite a strange scrap side profile as well, Jessie. Unless I've done that by messing with her brows, I don't know. Well, let's go ahead and pop some CC on her. Try and get her the way like I had her in my head. So I think this is a bit more the way I saw her, like quite fresh face and like and a very like like baby cute she's got like big baby face and then like little lollipop body i don't know why but she she does <laughs> she looks very like english rose that's a good way to describe it very english rose she looks like an actress but i just can't like really put my finger on who but i get a vibe from her okay i like how she's looking i think i've run out of layers so let's go into makeup although she does look great with dark eye makeup i don't know if it loses like a little fresh face a little bit how did we have her before oh she definitely wore quite heavy makeup before oh wow i'm actually in shock at how much better i think she looks already like as much as i think she looks better without the heavy makeup on like it's it's like part of her character so i can't just like get rid of that so i will give her the makeup around her eyes because it's who she is she loves a bit of makeup around her eyes oh my gosh she's so cute she's so cute oh i miss her and she needs her little septum i think i have a better one than when i did her yeah i've got this like smaller one. Oh, you're so freaking cute look at you and then uh, the hair i can kind of do what i want because she's had every single color i just have to make sure i give her a new hair oh my gosh Ah, I wish I'd have had the CC. Look, she looks like, a, she looks real. Like that looks real. I kind of tended to give her this hair because like she's my daughter. So she's going to have wispy hair. Yeah, I think some of you might not like how wispy and thin it is compared to her actual hair, but like, I feel like that is how her hair would actually have looked. She is my child. Like this was always the kind of vibe I wanted to 
give her, but I just didn't have like the right CC for her, I guess. Which is why these challenges are always fun. Like I feel emotional when I look at her. One, because I played her for so long, but two, because this is more, this is more how I, 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 she looked in my head. And then I know she didn't have it at this point in her life, but it feels really wrong not to give her and Roxy the matching tattoos. There we go. An updated version of Jessie. Let me know what you guys think. I just think she's so freaking cute. Like, I don't really get how she's so freaking adorable, but I love her. I love her so, so much. Let me know what you guys think of her as well. As with last time, I'll do like the little side by side at the end, because I feel like that gives the best view. And I spent a long time like getting her right. Oh my gosh baby. Okay, on to James. James, 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 who got the really weirdly big eyes. I, I, have I fixed James once before? I think I fixed him as a teenager, but let's give it a go with him as an adult. His eyes are so big. Honestly, I'm tempted to shrink them because there is no way, like, there's no way in this time that I would ever, like, allow that. I'd be like, no, you will get nice eyes. I don't really know why his eyes are as big as they are. I'm seeing if I can be brave enough to go for a really thick brow. <laughs> Kind of vibrant, probed not, but I'll give it a go. And obviously we upgrade him to his new version of eyes. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to stick to those eyebrows. I don't know why, I get kind of scared of really thick eyebrows, even though obviously Manin's have them. I just don't ever dish them out. Is it weird that I kind of like this on him? <laughs> Very real. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute nose. Although now you're, yo, you've got a big long pea head. Maybe that's better. Why are your nostrils? Like I could fly a plane up one nostril and then back out the other one. I think it's the brows. Might need to revisit. Brows are hard though. Hair. Do we have like the quiff thing? Thing is, I had absolutely no male hair. Poor James. Poor James got screwed over by the lack of male hair options, let's face it. Now, however, I'm swimming in male's hair, got loads of it, it's absolutely everywhere. So I feel like we can have a go at this again. Cause like when you've already got a narrow head, adding a, a poof on top, it's just, <laughs> you're going from like a, a detached house to a skyscraper and you, you were already probably a townhouse, let's face it. That's a much more respectable queef back kind of like hairstyle. But I still just don't think it's the right hairstyle for him. I think he looks better with something that makes his head look wider. Something like that just looks way better. Like, that lo that looks so much better. Yeah, look at that, look, look, look at the difference. So much better. Okay, much, much happier with this appearance. And if we're gonna do a little jumper and jeans combo, we got new options. We can do better now. We have the technology. Like, even if you wanna keep it army, like, that, I mean, that one now I'm looking at it is pretty bright. I do like a man that's like daring to go a bit bright with his jumper choice. I don't know. Okay, you sold, you sold it to me. We'll go for that one. Oh, Ali's got that top. Oh my gosh, he'd freak out if I showed him this. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like he looks a bit more like grown up. He was like a pro footballer. So I feel like he'd he'd have the cash just throw around a little bit so he'd probably i mean a chanel coat might be a bit extreme but his oh my gosh his face looks so much more handsome like so much more handsome he's just a bit more vibey now i don't know i kind of like this look but let me know what you guys think like even if you don't like the clothes i've given him which obviously they're a bit so you might not you have to admit this is a million million times better than I'm so glad I put the thick brows on him. I'm always scared to do it on men's and men look great with thick eyebrows. He looks so damn handsome now. Well done, son. I'm now attracted to you. Weird. Anyway, moving on to our final sim, which is little Roxaru. Again, you seem to have been smacked just straight across the head with the, we're gonna like go with you, which is not the way you ended up in later life. So I'm gonna curve you out a little bit. And then with Jesse, uh, no Roxy. One thing that I definitely wanna make sure we get right is the tattoos. Now I didn't really have a lot of tattoo options when I first started out, but tattoos were definitely a big part of uh, Roxy's look. So I do feel like we can have a little bit more fun now and we can, I don't know, I have a lot more tattoos to play with. The one thing she has to have though is the matching leg tattoo with um, Jesse. So we have to find a tattoo that works around it. I have a lot of full body tattoos now as well which I think is probably more the vibe that she would have gone for. So that's kind of where I'm, where I'm at. That's what I'm going to do. Wow. Um, I'm also going to have to find like skin details that don't go over her tattoos as well. Oh, that's quite cool. Oh, that one doesn't interfere with anything on her leg. Okay, that's very like, I don't know. I feel like she's been to like Thailand and Vietnam and Bali. Like she has that vibe about her now. So I'm going to choose from that. They're all just overlaying each other and being a bit like... And I did want a little bit of color work in there. So uh, I'm going to put this little cut on her side of her arm there, I think that's cute. Okay, we got a lot of tattoos. She also has a nose piercing, good to know. Okay, let's take everything off. 
I think it's so weird when you look at like them with just their bases. I think it is. Look who's kicked Evie out of the bed. It's Alex Meister. Okay, so here's where I'm at with it. I gave her an extra piercing because I kind of feel like she would have had one. Her lips are so pretty that I almost don't want to put like any lip stuff on, like lipstick on because she looks so nice. The, the, the face tattoo is a lot. I know the face tattoo is quite a lot. It just kind of came with the park, but I like the park. I don't know. I don't know. It's intense. It's definitely intense. But she always kind, kind of was intense. If I'd have had face tattoos then, would I have put them on her? Maybe I would have done. This is the thing. Maybe I would. Oh my gosh, she looks so freaking cute with this hair. But I already gave it to Lilith. I'm sorry. And the dog's wilding again. Wow. She kind of looks amazing with like just crazy like rock chick hair. I don't know. You can't tell me she doesn't suit it. You can't. Oh my gosh. She looks really cool like that. I think she looks really cool. Like she just looks like wild and fun and like that is how Roxy was always meant to look in my head. I just didn't quite have the CC to make it happen. I know the hair is kind of mental. I feel like you guys are gonna hate these ones so much. I don't know. It just frames her face and like her wildness is there. It's like there's this option as well, but I don't know. There's something about this one that just looks like really... Ah, uh, I don't know. I know you guys are gonna hate it. I know you are, but I love it. <laughs> I kind of love her. I'm having like a bit too much fun dressing her up and not really knowing. I have to stick kind of to what she was wearing before, but I want to show her tattoos. Why did you dress so boring? <laughs> Why did I have no good CC? You were boring. But then you were vibey in other places. Okay, fair enough. You definitely didn't have hot and cold weather when you were in the game. Maybe I need to base it more off this, you know? I know, I just have like the biggest Roxy crush now. Like, look at her. Her design always like before, I, I don't know, I found her face a bit weird. I didn't like her as, I, I found her hard to like do stuff with, but now I'm like, she's amazing and I love her. Doesn't quite fit the style, but it's really cute. Oh my gosh, she looks so cool. Let me, let, literally let me show you, especially like her, her before. Like this was her before, a little bit scary. And then after, like look at her. Do you, like she's still gonna be like the singer in the band because she like played all the instruments, she was an entertainer. She's so cool. I would definitely stun. If, if I found her band, I would stun so hard. I think she looks so freaking cool. Okay, guys, let me know what you think. We have got brand new Salma. I feel like this is the one people are probably gonna like the least, but I don't know. I do like her. I think she still looks like a queen. I think she still looks really cool. We've got updated Jessie, who to me is just, oh my gosh, so soft, sweet, and adorable. You can see why she totally fell in love with uh, Roxy, but you can also see why Roxy, like Jessie definitely caught Roxy's eye as well. Just so freaking cute. I feel like they met at like a concert and I love them. And then we've got updated James, who if you don't like like the whole swag he's got like flexing pretty hard right now but look how much better that face is he looks so freaking cute and then i honestly think roxy's my favorite like literally look at Oh my gosh, she's so adorable. I love her so, so much. Lexi is in full on wreck mode, so I'm gonna go get her to save my setup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big cheeky thumbs up. Give it some love in the comments below as well. And if you want me to do another one of these challenges, let me know which characters I should do next because this is so, so fun. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.